Hi guys, Chris with the 1990 Pontiac Firebird. It's been a while since we talked last. I want to show you some of the upgrades and what I'm doing today and give you a little bit of insight because this is probably one of the harder things you're going to have to do and figure out how to do it in order to get them on. So, as you can see, since you saw the car last, I've had it uh, painted and had a really nice emblem put on it and uh, just got it back from the paint shop and it really come out beautiful. When I got it back though, unfortunately, the knuckleheads at Mako decided to break off my carriers for the uh, seat belt. So, as you can see, I put this and I had to order a new set. And again, these are not easy to find anymore. Uh, and then change it all out. So I want to give you a little insight and show you what they look like to put on and how it is to actually put these on. They broke not one, but they broke both of them off, as you can see over there. So... I'll take you around over here and show you this one over here what from the start to finish and then you can see over here is what they did what used to be like this up here is now broke off completely like so so in the in the scheme of doing this all it started a little bit but i have the other one already on and i want to show you the difference so you can see what it looks like finished versus how to actually get it apart here you can see this one is now on and so forth and you can actually adjust it accordingly here and here to make it up to the different adjust the different heights okay that's where it sits down there so on this side it's basically the same thing except we're going to do a couple things to show you what goes on first thing you have to take the cap off because this is where i'm going to need my uh, my father-in-law's help and help me actually hold the camera while I do this with you You can actually see it hanging there, but here you take the, the cap off there Which just basically has four little clips on it like so and that just sits in there like that I'm gonna hand him the camera and I'm gonna show you the rest of it from here From here taking the seatbelt off Using your storts and this one I forget let's see what size that says Looks like a T4. T4 storts. So you take the screw off and set it off this side, and this is where the next part of this will actually get a little bit funnier. Oh, this one doesn't have it. It did, maybe it didn't. The other side has an electric connection on it that you have to take apart. This one you don't. So the key with this is having to kind of do a, a twisting, pulling action to kind of get it out and off and then you them back on. And this is where it gets very difficult. They have the ones that you can pre-made that actually slide in here and so forth. These do not. These here, you kind of have to gut line it up in such a way that you're able to actually slide it out and actually stretch it a little bit and actually make it come off. I'm not so worried about getting this one off without breaking it, but getting the other one on and lining it up right. In doing so, it really is just kind of a jungle puzzle to actually get it off and actually slide it over like so. And you can see how it actually slides over and you have to kind of bend and contort and actually get it to slide over the, the mechanism in the process of doing it. Get the belt out of your way because it will stick and it will add to your difficulty of trying to get it off. But once you get it past that, it really becomes just a matter of Bending this out and up. And that is the problem you have here. I'm going to take it back off a little bit. Move this out a little bit further. So it's not binding so much. You can see it's not an easy thing to do, but it is manageable if you get it in there right.
Okay, baby.